it's just a little bit more calmer, so it's a bit difficult to get used to that at home with how quiet it is. Kayla Mitchell and Tarek Williams speaking out at the very park they say killed their son. Bakari was a loving, energetic, passionate, sweet, beautiful, innocent boy. He didn't deserve to die in this manner. On September 11th, their three-year-old Bakari passed away in the hospital after contracting a brain-eating amoeba found at this Arlington, Texas splash pad. We had to kind of basically help him go to the bathroom because he was too weak to stand up. Last week, Arlington City officials announcing human error might have played a role, admitting they found negligent gaps in conducting daily water tests. That's crazy coming out of my mouth, a brain-eating amoeba. A little chlorine, and this child would have been here today. Family attorneys serving the paperwork today to sue the city, asking for more than a million dollars in damages for the boy's unjustifiable death. For us, this case is about public awareness. The last thing that we want is for anyone else and their family to have to feel and go through what we're going through at this time. And for other parents, Bakari's mom says this. If you go to a splash pad, all I can say, and you see those high fevers and you know your child is not moving as much as they normally are, and then forget the urgent care center and just go straight to a hospital.